Hey, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about one of the most broken four-star characters in all of Genshin Impact, one who's been getting buffed update after update, thanks to new reactions, artifacts, weapons, and even other characters that synergize well with her. And we are, of course, talking about Fischl. Fischl is insane for so many reasons that we're going to cover in this video, especially when you can use her new broken build, which is something that we're going to also cover, talking about how to best play and build Fischl and get the most value out of her. We're going to be covering her best artifacts, weapons, teams, constellations, and so much more. Everything you need to know about Fischl in one complete video. Before we begin though, as always, I want you guys to know that I do stream most nights on Twitch. Link in the description if you're interested. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so starting things off, what does Fischl do and why is she so powerful? Well, as you may know, Fischl is a character who summons a bird, Oz, and then this bird or raven will just shoot enemies, do a bunch of electro damage, and then also, thanks to one of Fischl's ascension passives, her A4, will be dealing extra electro damage and applying electro alongside your active character whenever they trigger an electro-related elemental reaction. Also, keep in mind that this passive of talent is like the core part of Fischl's kit and actually doesn't have any internal cooldown on its electro application, meaning that every single time you trigger an electro related reaction, as long as Oz is on field, he'll shoot some electro and reapply electro to the target, having synergy with even like Nahida's mark, for example. But just in general, in any team that procs electro related reactions, this Ascension 4 passive will be great at giving you more electro up time and a ton of electro damage as well. This means that Fischl not only has great damage thanks to her bird, but also has amazing uptime on him. In fact, you can actually have like a 100% uptime on Oz, who will be firing alongside your active character, constantly dealing high single target electro damage and reapplying the electro element to them whenever you trigger a reaction. This means that you can apply a lot of electro, proc a ton of reactions, and also generate a ton of energy for your entire team. Fischl's damage is very high, her energy generation is also very high, and the same can be said about her electro application. Fischl is also a character who needs little to no field time, as all you have to do is summon Oz with your elemental skill, or re-summon Oz with your elemental burst, which if you don't know, is an ability where you turn into a bird can kind of fly around but at the end of it or if you cancel it early oz will be summoned wherever you are basically meaning that your bird oz your elemental skill has even more uptime than you might think while knight rider is an ability that without constellations lasts for 10 seconds with a 25 second cooldown you can re-summon oz for another 10 seconds when you use your elemental burst which only has a 15 second cooldown if that wasn't enough well we'll talk about Fischl's constellations very shortly her c6 adds an extra layer of how broken Fischl can be by not only giving you significant more damage, but also increasing your Oz's uptime by two seconds, meaning that when you summon him, it'll actually be for 12 seconds, giving you even more uptime on Oz, assuming you're using your skill and your burst one after the other, spacing them out to where you're not just using skill and then burst, but skill, then you kind of swap out of her, and then when Oz is about to expire, you swap back, then use your burst, re-summoning Oz, and giving him a very, very high uptime, effectively 100%, or close to it, in the sense that Oz will basically always be out there when you are DPSing on your on-field character. And while I said I'd talk about constellations later, I do think it's worth mentioning that while Fischl is still broken without constellations, since she's a character who's been around since patch 1.0, there's a good chance you've been accumulating a lot of Fischl constellations, and if you manage to get all the way to C6, Oz will not only have more uptime, but will also perform coordinated electro attacks alongside your on-field character when they normal attack, giving you even more electro application and damage. Other things to know about Fischl are that her burst does do a single hit of electro damage, which is relatively high, has an energy cost of 60, and then also when you summon Oz, there is a summoning damage at the start, and then Oz will be dealing damage scaling on your Fischl's attack, and he can also crit, by the way, alongside your active character all the time, even if your Fischl is off field. Also, something else I wanted to add is that your Oz does snapshot, so when you summon him, all of the buffs that your Fischl has, as soon as you are summoning him, will snapshot and last for his entire duration. Do keep in mind, though, that every time you re-summon Oz on Fischl, which you can do to reposition him, it will refresh the snapshot as well, which is useful to note if you ever buff your Fischl after summoning Oz, you can kind of re-summon him to snapshot the buffs onto him. And snapshotting is generally just a good thing, as it can make it to where buffs that would otherwise expire won't and will last for the ability's entire duration until your Oz disappears or is resummoned. Fischl also has another passive talent that's mostly useless. Basically, if you charge shot Oz, he'll deal some AoE electro damage, but it's not really worth doing this charge shot as it's almost always a loss in DPS, so you can mostly ignore this. And it's the other parts of her kit that really make her shine as a support. And I know I'm saying support because she kind of is. You just use your skill or your burst and then swap, but the amount of damage she deals makes her a basically off-field DPS in pretty much any team that can fit her. Any team that wants an Electro unit will almost always want Fischl as either the best option or one of the best options, the main exception being Hyper Bloom, but even there you can use her as the amount of Electro she applies and the damage she deals is very, very high. Moreover, Fischl is also an amazing battery. Her Electro energy generation is actually so high that she's usually the best battery for any Electro character, like notably Beto, who's incredibly powerful but wants another Electro character to give her energy, allowing her or any other Electro character 
character you may be using to run a lot less energy recharge and thus build more offensive stats. But that's not all. She also generates so much energy that even characters that aren't Electro can use her as a battery as she's generating so many Electro particles that even a Dendro character, for example, can make use of the energy you're generating, even if it's not the correct element per se. It's still a lot of energy and makes her a very good battery. And so for all those reasons, Fischl has always been an amazing character who's been getting better and better, not just thanks to the release of Dendro, but also a ton of new weapons, characters, and also the most recently and part of the reason why I'm making this video, thanks to a brand new artifact set that gives her sometimes even a 20% increase in damage compared to her other builds, which is just another official buff that is absolutely insane. For Vigil's talent priority, in case it wasn't obvious, you want to maximize your Oz, level him as high as you can. As Oz is someone who deals a ton of damage, he can crit and just really will carry your official. And even when you resummon Oz with your burst, it is your Oz's scalings from your Knight Rider talent that will be factored in as leveling your burst only increases your burst's initial hit of damage, which can still be worth leveling, but primarily focus on your Knight Rider as your main priority. You can ignore your normal attacks unless you play her as a main DPS, but typically level your skill and then your burst. And so everything I've said so far applies to basically a C0 official, with the only exception being what I said about C6, which is why I want to say that even at C0, official is amazing, but she does also have one of the strongest six constellations in the game, at least for four star characters, not five stars, obviously. And that is something that I want to talk about right now. In fact, for official's constellations, while as I said, don't want people to think they can only use her with constellations as she is just a great support overall, she's one who definitely has some significant improvements with her six constellation being absolutely insane. As I mentioned earlier, giving you more Oz up time, more damage and more electro application. For her other constellations, C3 is great as it will give you more talent levels to your Oz. So just more damage because Oz is basically all officials damage. And C4 will give you an extra hit of AOE electro damage when you burst while also healing 20% officials HP when it ends, which is pretty convenient. A nice quality of life constellation also giving you some AOE damage, which can help finish off some enemies. Official's second constellation will also give you some AOE when you summon your Knight Rider, you get some more damage on the first hit and also give it some more AOE, which is again, pretty convenient. For other constellations, C5 will increase your burst talent level, which is kind of whatever. And then C1 will be nice for an on field, like physical build, which isn't primarily what we're covering in this video as Fischl, in my opinion, is so invaluable as an off field support that you don't typically want to play her on field. But if that's something that interests you, then her C1 can give you a bit more damage when you do play her on field. With that in mind, the C1 only applies when Oz isn't on field. And even as a main DPS, you want Oz to be there. So it's usually just not that good of a constellation. But anyways, Fischl still has insane ones with her third and especially sixth constellation being insane. All right, with all that out of the way, let's now actually talk about what changed regarding Fischl's builds and how to build her properly to get the most value out of her. Well, starting things off, the new Golden Troop set is a set that was designed, in my opinion, for Fischl or one that very clearly screams Fischl as it basically just gives you 70% elemental skill damage for free when you're using the four piece. The two piece will give you 20% and then the four piece gives you a flat 25% and then another 25% when you're off field with this effect clearing two seconds after you take field, but Fischl's a character who doesn't want to be on field for that long. As an off-field support, you kind of summon Oz, then swap out. So even when you do go back to her, it's only for a second or two, meaning that you basically always will have 70% damage bonus to your Oz, which is the vast majority of your damage. This set is basically a Fischl buff. It's usually 10 to 20% better than another set you can run on her, which is insane as even before this set came out, Fischl was already one of the most powerful supports, a broken four-star, honestly. And now she's even better thanks to a set that just gives her way more damage. And so there really is no contest here. Go for the four piece golden troop. It's a pretty efficient domain to farm, especially if you want the Marie Chaussée set for other Fontaine characters. And the golden troop can also be used on other characters as well. So I highly recommend farming this set for Fischl as it's part of her new broken build. With that in mind, if you don't have this set yet or have better substats and want to use another set, there are viable ones like four piece Thunder Soother if you can maintain the Electro of Time, four piece Gilded Dreams, especially in teams like Aggravate where you can really use the Elemental Mastery or mix and matching basically any offensive two piece of either attack, Electro damage, skill damage, or EM, again, in Dendro teams. But generally speaking, I highly recommend getting this new Golden Troop set as it's amazing on Fischl. Before moving on, however, I did want to at least mention that you can go for the four piece Tenacity the Millith if you just want to play your Fischl as an off field, like supportive character who's buffing your party members by giving them attack. And while there is situations where this is optimal, especially with a very low investment Fischl, I personally think Fischl deals so much damage that it's kind of a waste to not invest into it. Like I really think a large portion of many teams damage, especially aggravate teams, comes from Fischl, where she can sometimes even do more than your on field character to where going for a supportive set, while it can be viable, in my opinion, isn't usually as recommended as going for a set that really focuses on her damage, like Golden Troop, which, as I said, is absolutely broken on Fischl. All right, now next up for the stats you want on Fischl, I want to start by saying that I did initially plan on recording this section when I had a good four piece Golden Troop, just to show that, but I've spent thousands of resin here, so I'm using a two piece for now. So excuse that if you can. But with that in mind, the 
stats that you want on Fischl are pretty straightforward. The first thing you need to know is that both Oz and Fischl's Ascension 4 passive, which is kind of Oz as well, can crit, okay? So your Oz, your skill can crit, which means that looking for crit rate and crit damage will be very important on Fischl, even if you're just trying to maximize your Oz's damage while your Fischl's off field. Because of this, the main stats you're looking for are crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, and then sometimes a bit of energy recharge, depending on your team. Usually not a lot, with the typical recommended range being around 100 to 120 ER. Really not a lot. It's not the main thing you're looking for. But in some teams, if you want to be able to burst and have 100% uptime on your Oz, then you might need a few substats of energy recharge, depending on how much energy your team comp generates. Keep in mind that Fischl does generate a lot herself, and you oftentimes will run her with, for example, another Electro character or with the Quicken Reaction, which gives you energy. So you typically don't need that much ER. Lastly, Elemental Mastery is also a good substat in specific reaction teams, like notably Aggravate. When Fischl is going to be aggravating, Elemental Mastery can be about as good as attack percent, sometimes a bit better, sometimes a bit worse. Typically, EM and attack are about as good as one another when you are aggravating, so keep that in mind as well. Because of this, those are the stats you're looking for on your substats, with crit being your main focus, but attack and EM if you're aggravating are also good, alongside a bit of energy recharge. With that in mind, for your main stats, what you're looking for is the following. Generally, crit rate or crit damage on your circlet, depending on which one you need more of, trying to get a 1 to 2 crit rate to crit damage ratio, electro damage bonus on your goblet, always being the best option, and attack percent or elemental mastery on your sands. Generally, the most flexible sands for most builds is attack percent. It's great without dendro, and then even with dendro, it's about as good as elemental mastery. Again, this depends on your substats and your weapon, but it's usually either a bit better or a bit worse than EM, with the deciding factor typically being your substats. So generally speaking, I would recommend attack percent if you don't want to think too much about what you're doing on your Fischl and just want a generic sans to go for. But if you're playing Fischl with dendro reactions like Quicken or Aggravate, then elemental mastery sans, as I said, is a perfectly viable and about as good option, making it to where I'd recommend going based on your substats. If you have better substats on an EM sans, then go for that. If you have better substats on an attack sans, then go for that instead, with attack percent always being the recommended option in non-aggravate teams. All right, now moving on for Fischl's best weapons, you'll be happy to hear that she has a ton of really good options for every type of player, great five stars, four stars, and free to play options that you can use depending on what you have. The first thing I want to disclose though is that Fischl's weapon ranking, how good a specific weapon is for her, will depend based on if you're playing her in a dendro or a non-dendro team, as while most of the weapons that are good in one will also be good in the other, a stat like Elemental Mastery is much, much stronger when you are aggravating with your Fischl when you're playing her with dendro versus when you're playing her without dendro. And so generally speaking, here are the best options for Fischl. As her general best in slot, five stars like Polar Star or Aka Simulacra are typically the two go-tos. They're about as good in strength, Polar Star being a bit better when you're not aggravating, but just in general, both of these weapons are great, amazing stat sticks with effects that'll give you more damage. This is true even if you're not fully stacking a weapon like Polar Star, as even with just one or two stacks, it is still great and will give you immense amounts of value. Other five-star weapons like the Scoured Harp, Thundering Pulse, or even Linny's Bow are great options as well, once again, as just stat sticks for your Fischl, giving you a ton of crit, attack, and just everything you can ask for. With that in mind, there are also four-star options that are similar to five-stars, depending on your play style, with these weapons being Stringless and also Alley Hunter. These two weapons are great for Fischl, as Alley Hunter will give you a high base attack, some attack percent, and then increase your damage when you're off field, which is good for Fischl as she doesn't really want to be on field anyways. At refinement rank 1, you'll gain 20% damage, with this doubling to 40% at refinement rank 5. Similarly, Stringless will also give you just a ton of damage, 48% elemental skill damage if it's fully refined, and half of that if you're refinement rank 1, with it just being a great staple 4-star option for your Fischl. Do note that Stringless does get quite a bit better in aggravate teams though when you play Fischl with Dendro as the elemental mastery stat will then also be a strong part of this weapon on top of the high skill damage that you're gaining. Even in non-Dendro teams though, Stringless is a great four-star option with it being incredible in Dendro teams like genuinely a refinement rank 5 Stringless in a Dendro team if you can make use of the EM and its effect is going to be about as good as the five-star options usually just a bit worse. Similarly, Alley Hunter will perform about as good usually better in non-Dendro teams as it gives you attack instead of EM and not too far behind in Dendro teams, making these your two best four-star go-to options. Now, on top of just that, though, we've actually gotten a new free-to-play weapon this patch, the Song of Stillness from the Fontaine Blacksmith that you can craft and refine for free. Song of Stillness and Prototype Crescent are now going to be the two sort of go-to free-to-play options for Fischl. Prototype Crescent giving you a bunch of attack when you shoot a weak point, so if you can proc its effect, then it can be a good stat stick, whereas Song of Stillness can actually also be amazing and, in my opinion, more consistent. Although you still have to proc its effect, you need to heal your Fischl to gain the pretty high amount of damage percent when it's fully refined. 32% damage, which is great in both Dendro and non-Dendro teams as an 8 second buff once your Fischl gets healed. Now, through my testing, I found that this works even with overhealing, so even if your Fischl is full HP, so long as you just
just heal her a bit and then summon Oz. With weapons that have effects that buff you, do keep in mind and remember the fact that your Oz snapshots, meaning that you want to make sure you buff your Fischl before summoning Oz or re-summoning him as soon as you get buffed to make sure that he actually can get these buffs and deal more damage. I think Song of Stillness is going to be the generic go-to free-to-play bow for most people, as while Prototype Crescent can sometimes be better, a lot of enemies don't have weak points, it also requires you to charge shot and can be a bit annoying to use, whereas the new bow, while yes, you still have to make sure you're healing yourself, as long as you have a healer in your team, you can get a lot of value out of it, especially if you can fully refine it and get that 32% damage bonus. Keep in mind that Fischl's fourth constellation will also heal her after using your burst, just be sure to resummon Oz after procking its effect to make sure you're buffed. Other good options include the Viridescent Hunt, or even technically the new Battle Pass option, or other event weapons as free-to-play options if you have them, like Freighting Twilight for some damage percent and a high base attack, especially if you need the ER that it gives you, or Windbloom's Ode for some EM and attack percent as well. I did also want to mention that Fischl can technically use the Elegy for the end if you have it laying around in order to buff your team by giving them EM and attack percent. This can be the best for some team's overall DPS, but it's not what I recommend in general, especially if you can use Elegy on another character that can make use of the ER, as you do lose out on a lot of Fischl's personal damage this way, but it can be a viable and sometimes strong option. Overall, I think it's very straightforward. Fischl's best weapons are very clearly either five stars that you have that are good stat sticks, Stringless or Alley Hunter as really good four star options, especially with refinements, but even just in general, and then the free to play options with either Prototype Crescent or the Song of Stillness, the new one that I personally really like, provided you can make use of their effects and ensure that you are snapshotting them, summoning Oz after you get buffed. All right, now moving on, let's talk about Fischl's best teams and the characters she synergizes the most with. Well, as I've said multiple times in this video, Fischl can be played in basically any team that wants an Electro support. She can be used in both Dendro and non-Dendro teams, so that's what we'll cover right now. For her non-Dendro teams, all of the Electro reactions, like Electro Charge, Superconduct, or even Overload, are ones where Fischl can be used as one of, if not the best, supportive option. For Electro Charge teams, these are ones where Fischl actually shines in pretty much any way you can imagine. First of all, she gives you a lot of Electro application and a ton of single target damage, synergizing very well with the other characters you're playing here. Examples of these characters that synergize with Fischl are, first of all, Syncho, who also has a ton of single target damage, but on his end is Hydro, and then Hydro and Electro together obviously will spam Electro Charge, make them very good with one another. Beto, much like a lot of other Electro characters, is not just a really strong carry, but also will benefit greatly from the energy that Fischl will give you. And then lastly, Sucrose will be able to buff your damage greatly by swirling Electro and also Hydro in this team, increasing your team's overall damage, being your on-field driver, auto-attacking, swirling Electro, swirling Hydro, and synergizing very well with characters like Fischl and this team comp in general. In a team like this, Sucrose can run the Verdes and Venera set and the Hakushin Ring, or even Thrilling Tales, and Fischl really does shine here by just giving you a ton of damage and a lot of Electro application and also particles. For Superconduct teams, basically any physical carry wants an Electro support and a Cryo one or a Cryo character, and Fischl is usually just the best option. Same with Overload if that's something you want to play, or Over Vape, where you're running a Hydro character alongside an Electro and a Pyro to vaporize and Overload simultaneously. If that wasn't enough though, Fischl doesn't just synergize with Electro reactions, but also with carries that have a flex slot. So basically any Electro carry that wants an Electro battery with them or can fit another Electro character in their team will usually want Fischl, as I said, the best or one of the best options. And then even carries that aren't Electro that have just a flex slot in their team can use Fischl for just good results. Even someone like Xiao, who doesn't really proc reactions, when ran with someone like Farzan and Bennett, has a very flexible last slot where Fischl can actually be a good option. Yeah, you might want her in another team. And yeah, there's other options like Zhongli or a third Nemo character. But Fischl is usually just a great flex slot with pretty much any carry. Unless, of course, the Electro that she gives will ruin a reaction you're trying to proc. Like, you won't use Fischl in something like a Nilu Bloom team or a Freeze team or something. But outside of those, she can really flex into any team comp. Other synergies she has, though, is with Dendro, which is part of the reason why I'm making this video as well. Fischl synergizes incredibly well with Dendro reactions, such as Quicken for both Aggravate or Spread teams, and also somewhat Hyper Bloom if you're pairing her with an Anemo character who can proc the Hyper Blooms for you. In fact, if you're playing Fischl in a Quicken team, you can either Aggravate or Spread, usually doing both of these reactions simultaneously, and then you can pair her with either an Electro or a Dendro carry. Aggravate teams like Aggravate Kaching are incredibly powerful, and in this team, Fischl can sometimes do even more damage than your carry like Kaching, or at least a similar amount, being really, really powerful together. Great synergy in the team. You have a Dendro character to apply the Quicken aura on enemies, letting your Electro characters proc Aggravate, deal more damage with this reaction, and also running another supportive option, like an Anemo one, like Kazu or Sucrose, to give you a ton more damage by swirling Electro, or someone like Zhongli for resistance tread, or just anyone who can fit this role, typically being an Anemo option. You can run so many different Electro characters this way, like even Yai or Sino, whom Fischl will have very good synergy with. The same can be said for Dendro carries, where you'll be a spread team primarily here, where Fischl can be used 
use alongside characters like Alhytham, Tsihlady, or as I said, pretty much any Dendro carry. So aggravate teams, Fischl works well. Spread teams, Fischl works well as well. To proc, quicken, leave a quicken or on enemies, and then let your Dendro characters spam spread. You'll also get some aggravates on your Fischl, especially in an aggravate team where the quicken aura just stays there and you just get so much more electro damage by swirling electro and also getting the aggravate damage buff. For hyperbloom teams, you can also use Fischl. And in hyperbloom teams, typically characters like Kuki or technically even Dory or EM Raiden are better at proccing hyperbloom than Fischl. But what Fischl can do is apply a bunch of electro onto the enemy and then let an Anemo driver like Sucrose, but even someone like Skara can work to swirl the electro and proc hyperbloom themselves while your Fischl does strong off field damage. Because of that, you can actually use Fischl in hyperbloom teams, provided you have another character to help you apply electro and not just her. Fischl can even technically be used in Burgeon teams as the last flex slot, provided she doesn't steal too many of your Dendro cores, as your Pyro option will typically get most of them. Overall, like Fischl, as I said, really good synergy in any team that wants electro reactions, with the most recommended ones being alongside other electro characters as a battery, examples being someone like Beto, Yai, or Sino. Dendro teams in general, notably spread and aggravate, aggravate in particular with characters like Kaching, and also non-Dendro teams like all of the ones we saw previously, with my personal favorites being Taser or Electro Charge, and also pretty much any Dendro team. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this fiscal guide was helpful. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.